Hi, so I'm going to show you a trick today how to uh, calculate how many triangles are in a shape. And I'm going to give you uh, several different uh, types of triangles. Uh, here are some examples and I'm going to give you some more. And uh, there's a really easy method instead of like trying to see, well, this is pretty obvious. But when we get to questions like this and like this and like this, you're like, oh my goodness, how many triangles are there? So uh, there is a very easy way to count how many triangles there are in a shape, okay? So, well, let's start with the basic one. If I look at this, obviously, I know there is only one triangle over here. So in this shape, there is one triangle, all right? So let's move on to this one. <clears throat> So this is the first, you know, I just take this and I count basically how many bases do I have. And so this is my first one. This is my second one. And all I do, I take both of these and I do one plus two, which is going to give me three. Because look, one, two, and here we have the third one. So if I outline it's the first one, the second one, and this whole thing is a third one. So I'm basically counting the bases and I'm going to add them up. Let's do another one and then I'm going to just tell you what the formula is also in case you have triangles given to you that will work out to be the same way. So if I look at this one, <clears throat> this is one, second base, third base, fourth base and so all I'm doing is one plus two plus three plus four and I get here, yeah, three plus three, six plus four, that tells me that there are 10 triangles in this shape, okay? So there's also a formula for this, um, which I'm going to like now show you and correlate the uh, same thing, how I got 10 over here. So I'm just going to use uh, this one over here, all right, this triangle, and it is N, N plus one, divided by two, where n is nothing but the highest number over here. So n is equal to the highest number that you are calculating, all right? So in this case, if I look at this triangle, my highest number here is four. So I'm going to replace n uh, is equal to four over here. And if I use this formula, this is going to be four and I have four plus one divided by two. And so that means four times four plus one is five. <clears throat> Sorry, divided by two over here, okay? So four times five is 20 and 20 divided by two gives me 10. So I get the same answer, all right? So a very easy, uh, uh, you know, formula is going to give me exactly the same thing in which I just take the highest number, I multiply that with the highest number plus one, and then I divide by two, and that gives me, uh, you know, how many triangles there are in a shape, okay? So, <clears throat> let's try this one. I have one, two, three, four, five, six bases here. So all I'm going to do is I am going to add them up. Plus four, plus five, plus six. So this is one way to do it. And then when I'm adding these up, I get 21. Okay, so I have 21 triangles in this shape. All right. Now, even if I try the formula method, I'm going to just do it over here. N is six plus um, times... Uh, I have six plus one, six plus one, that gives me seven divided by two. I can simplify, this is one, this is three, and three times seven gives me 21. So see, the formula correlates with what I'm doing. So either of those uh, will work perfectly fine, okay? Now, uh, let's say I have something a little bit more complicated, and if I'm given something like this, all right? now. Honestly, this is also, it looks complicated, but it really is. It follows the same principle that we have been working on. So first I am going to count all the bases, okay? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six over here, all right? 
And then I have, if I do that, uh, you know, what we've been doing right now, we've been doing 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6, and I had gotten 21. All right, so I had gotten 21. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to count these bases, okay? So I have over here one and I have two. So one plus two gives me three. And then I have another two here, one and two. So that is another one plus two that gives me three. <clears throat> And so ultimately, all I'm doing is I'm taking these three, which is the 21 plus 3 plus 3, and I have 27 triangles in this shape. 27 triangles in that shape. So how simple it was. You're just counting the bases. You're adding them up together, and that tells you how many triangles are in that shape. Okay, so pretty clear cut and simple. All right. Now, let's look at something like this one. And you're like, whoa, uh, you know, these look like different. But again, the principle is exactly the same. All right. So in this, all I'm going to do this. I have one and I have two. That is one plus two, which gives me three. Right. And then I start looking at all the bases that I have over there. Okay. So I have one and two over here, one and two over here. So all of them are one plus two gives me three. Okay. And when I add them all up, I get three plus three plus three. So I am going to have a total of nine triangles in this shape. All right. So pretty easy. Remember, once again, you are just taking how many they are, how many bases they are. All right, and you are adding them up or you're using this formula. You will get exactly the same uh, answer. All right, now let's try a little bit different shapes with triangles in them so that you understand, uh, you know, what if it's inside a square or something like that, how many you should be counting. All right, so, all right, let me remove this much, okay? And let me give you a shape, which is, let's say I give you a square. And you have something given to you like this. And you're like, how many triangles are in there? So it looks like they are, you know, four by looking at that. But then you're looking at, hey, it can be this way. 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 I mean, yeah, sure, you can do it that way. But here's the simple way that will help you solve this really quick, all right? So all I do, I'm going to first count the different parts. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and then all I'm going to do is I'm going to double it. So that means four times two, I have eight triangles in this shape, as simple as that, okay? Um, what if I had something given to me like this? If I do, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a shape which looks like this. All right. <clears throat> and now you're asked, okay, uh, how many triangles are in there? Again, we are going to follow the same thing that I just did with this one. All right. So don't get confused. All I'm doing is, look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of those times, you're going to double it. Eight times two, I have 16 triangles in that shape. Okay? Now, let's say I have a shape which is cut up um, vertically, or I can also do... What if I have a shape inside a shape? I can do that also. Let's try this one. Okay, so if I do this, I do this, this, and this, and let's go ahead and do something like this. All right, so now 
<clears throat> we are again going to look at this and basically y'all it's exactly the same thing that we just did but now we have an extra square inside so i'm going to first start counting uh, on the outside i'm going to start counting on the outside first so one two three four five six seven eight Okay, and I know that I'm going to double it. So eight times two gives me 16. And then I'm going to count the inside part. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, I'm going to do eight times two, which is 16. And when I add both of these, I'm going to get 32 triangles in this shape. Okay. Um, now, sometimes you are given a shape <clears throat> where I just have a triangle with horizontal lines. <clears throat> so I might be given something like this. Uh, and I'm going to just make some horizontal lines over here. Okay. So I might be given something like this. And I'm going to have... <clears throat> this given to me like this and then you're asked uh, how many triangles are in that shape I might be given something like this <clears throat> all right and then you're asked how many triangles are in that shape uh, so basically this one it literally depends on how many horizontal lines they are okay so I'm going to see here's my horizontal line, here's my horizontal line, here's another one, and here's another one. So this one <clears throat> actually is four triangles when I only have horizontal lines like this. This triangle, this triangle, this triangle, and this triangle. Okay, same thing here. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this one has six triangles. All right, so these are some of the things that you will see uh, on your math competition material and it will ask how many triangles they are. So I hope that was helpful. Um, all you're doing is like you're counting, like if you just have triangles, slits, you're just counting the bases and you're adding them up. Or you're using the formula N, which is the highest number, times N plus one, which is the highest number plus one, and then you're dividing by two. So that is one way. Uh, if it's within a square, you are basically counting how many little triangles they are in that square and then you're multiplying it, okay? Uh, if you have two squares, the same thing, outer square, inner square, however many squares, you're counting each of those and then you are multiplying with two. If they are only horizontal lines, you are just counting up and down because if you think of it, this is the first triangle, second triangle, third triangle, and the fourth triangle. All right, so here are, the, some real, here are some of the really simple tricks uh, to calculate how many triangles they are in a shape. All right, have a good day.